What's up guys? Today we're going to create a video based on a script written by Google's Bard. If you don't know what Bard is, it's kind of Google's version of chat GPT. It's a chat bot that can create text content for you. And we're going to see if a Bard script is better than the real life script I wrote for my real life client. Now I did this in the past with chat GPT where I asked chat GPT to generate a video script for a real life client. And then I showed you what my version of the commercial looked like and what chat GPT's version of the commercial looked like. And we're going to do the same thing today, but with Bard. And it's actually going to be the same client, the city of Boca Raton, where my business is based. And I think this is a very fair challenge for Bard because there's so much data online about Boca Raton. So I think it's a really good example to see if Bard can communicate a really great accurate, high quality script for one of my own real clients. And we happen to be making our second commercial right now for the city of Boca Raton. So we again will be doing this side by side comparison. Let's just dive right into Bard. All right, this is what Bard looks like. So what I'm going to do is type in my prompt. The focus of the second commercial we're working on is not just about why Boca Raton is a great place to do business, but what other fun things there are to do in your off hours. So that is the prompt I'm delivering to Bard. Let's see what happens. All right, it's given me this script and also these bullets. This isn't really fitting with what a 30 second script is. There's not really bullets and it's not giving me any visual cues the way ChatGPT did. Let's try to dig in a little more. I do notice up here that there are view other drafts. I would say this third version of the script does seem to fit more with what I was looking for. It's still weird that there are these random bullet points at the end. Let me try to see if I can incorporate the bullet points into the main script. It's still not doing exactly what I'm asking it to do. I'm going to start fresh and try to change my original prompt to maybe get a result that it's more in line with what I'm looking for. All right, I finally feel like I got a script I can kind of work with. I'm going to have our narrator read this script. And once I get it back, we're going to edit it all together. A few moments later. All right, I just got the voiceover. Let me get editing. Now, if you've never seen this before, what you're looking at is Final Cut Pro. It is a great editing app from Apple. If you're curious to learn more about Final Cut Pro, I will drop a beginner tutorial down in the description. Now the Bard script is calling for this one particular character to be shown in a multitude of situations. I am not going to be able to do that for this project because we're not shooting based off of this script. So what I'm going to do is pull stock video. So the subject of our commercial is not going to be consistent throughout the commercial, but that's the best I can do right now. Just like with chat GPT, this Bard script is definitely way longer than the 30 seconds I asked it to write. And one thing I didn't notice till I started editing is that the script like repeats itself in the middle and the end. That's just bad writing. All right, I'm done editing. Here is what my Bard generated video looks like. Are you tired of the hustle and bustle of city life? Are you looking for a place to relax and enjoy the good life? Boca Raton is the perfect place to move your business with its beautiful beaches, world-class golf courses, and vibrant art scene. Boca Raton has everything you need to succeed. And when you're not working, you can enjoy the many fun things to do in Boca Raton, from shopping to dining to exploring the arts. Boca Raton has something for everyone. So what are you waiting for? Move your business to Boca Raton today. Boca Raton is the perfect place to live, work, and raise a family. With its beautiful beaches, world-class golf courses, and a vibrant art scene, Boca Raton has everything you need to succeed. And here's the actual video I created for the city of Boca Raton. At work or at play, Boca Raton has everything. Find your place. Make new connections. Travel your way. Or sit back and take it all in. Go for a ride. Or don't. Who says you can't have it all? At work or at play. Boca Raton has everything. Contact us to join our thriving community. Let's take a look at this Bard video again together. You'll notice how incredibly long all of the shots are. And in some cases, I even added two shots per scene just to try to break it up a little bit. And vibrant art scene. Boca Raton has everything you need to succeed. 
And when you're not the Bard script also provided no instructions for text overlays. So I didn't add any text to this spot because I'm really just trying to demonstrate how lacking these AI scripts are. And I threw in a couple of transitions just because I had to. It was so boring. place to live, work, and raise a family with its beautiful beaches, world-class golf courses, and a vibrant art scene. I also just want to show you a side-by-side -side of my two timelines, the one for the real commercial and the one for the barred version. You'll see that the real commercial has so many more cuts, so many more clips, so many more effects, and the barred one is just so plain and simple. So what do I think about using Google's Bard for creating video scripts? I don't think you're going to be surprised to hear that I don't think that you can have Bard generate a script for you and then use that script in real life exactly as Bard wrote it. It definitely needs some tweaking and some intervention. I feel like this quality of the script was sort of uninspired and that the one that we created in real life just felt more fun and lively and really like more well thought out. So I think for some people, Bard can be a great tool if you're maybe having a bit of writer's block and you got a little bit stuck. Maybe these are great jumping off points for you, but these scripts still need some finesse and human intervention to really make them effective in the real world. One thing I really did like about Bard is that it delivered several options for a video script to me. And I felt like I could choose the one that felt like the best jumping off point and maybe prompt it more to kind of fine tune that idea. So I do think Bard is a helpful tool, but I don't see us all being replaced by artificial intelligence in this way anytime soon. You guys, what do you think of Google's Bard? Have you used it yet? What results have you gotten? Let me know down in the comments. I love hearing from you. I picked up some other videos I think you're going to like, and I'll see you again.